Hello, good morning and welcome to Saturday with Simon. The weekend is here, let's take a sneak preview of what's coming up in the show. Simon, what's going on in entertainment? The sixth annual Dublin Film Festival starting tonight, Gronia. That's a huge a event, huge, isn't it? Huge, huge. Fifteen people aged between 11 and 15 and with a talent for musical theatre have been selected from nationwide auditions to join us here for one week in Jam School. The lucky 15 will be mentored by the best in showbiz. Simon Atkins is with us here to talk about uh, gadgets and the like. The price of these? They're 34 99 and you can get them in any kind of outdoor store. You can get them in Riverdeep Mountain High in Galway and in Limerick and you can get them in the great outdoors here in Dublin. Hello there and welcome to News Today. It's been a big day in Northern Ireland. Politicians there have got together to form their own government. Simon, our own Cupid, thank you very much for coming <laughs> to join us thank today. You the best way to a man's heart is through his stomach. And sure, wouldn't you love to be uh, served up Valentine uh, breakfast in bed with this I love you toast? It's a toast stamper okay. for your toast. You literally stamp your bread before you put it into the toaster. Toast it up. Fantastic. <laughs> and it's, I suppose it's the gift that keeps on giving. It's not just for Valentine's Day. You can day. use it you for Mother's Day, so it is reusable. <laughs> coming up in today's Talking Point, we ask, do men prefer good times? gals to goody two-shoes. A question that's on every lady's lips. So what do you reckon, guys? Do you think that Irish mammies spoil their sons? Well, what about you? Because you are a son. <laughs> well, yeah. You know, they have the dinner out every day. <laughs> do you do your own washing? Uh, no. Do you do your own cleaning? Uh, yeah. Clean myself. Like. <laughs> <laughs> You're so young, you're quite talented. Was it really daunting, like, coming in and working with Grace? So quite talented. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Simon Atkins from Dublin. Here's how he impressed us yesterday. Coming up on the show today, we speak to Hollywood's hottest couple, Brad and Angelina. The rough and ready look are the metrosexual man. Today, we're on the streets of Dublin to find out, do you prefer your men macho? Um, probably handsome, because, like, you know, when you look at him, he's just all hairy, and I don't think girls would go for that. For the first time ever, an elephant has been born in this country. The calf at Dublin Zoo is a little girl, but she hasn't been given a name as yet. The event was watched and recorded by zookeepers using infrared cameras. Our first guest is mother of two, print journalist, television producer, and of course, author of Girl in the Liquor Basket. So Yvonne, you've been writing for years, but when did you actually start writing books? This particular one, Pooh Bag, contacted me about, uh, about nine, ten months ago. Well, as you know, the elections are two weeks away and we're very excited here in News Today, so we've got Catherine to have a little chat about it. Just before you go, who are you going to vote for? Or who stands out to you? What party? Well, I, I actually haven't decided to tell you the truth. It's coming into wedding season. The average cost of an Irish wedding is widely accepted as around €30,000. But what about the guests attending? What typical items would you see couples coming in requesting for their wedding list? Wedding lists can have quite a variety of items on them. People are spending a fortune, especially women, for the big day. And that's only as a guest. We spent 12 years banging drums for the Soul Doctors. Johnny Donnelly's in studio to tell us why he's Ireland's marathon man. All that and a lot more. Don't go away. You're watching Saturday with Simon. Harder, better, faster, stronger.